Hey guys, Jen here from A Diary of a Dreamer, and today I wanted to do another process video with you. I'm going to be working on days four through six. I'm pretty proud of myself now that I'm actually, you know, getting this done and being able to share it with you guys. So, all right, let's get started. All right, guys, so I just wanted to start off real quick with apologizing for a couple of things. One, sorry about the terrible lighting. That will be fixed on Friday. I've got some new lights coming in. And two, I am sorry if you hear banging in the background. My husband is downstairs playing drums, and unfortunately our house is old, and you can hear everything that anybody does. So here I am just cutting up some printables that I have. Um, I think... All four are from Solon Studios, but I could be wrong. I'm not entirely sure, so please don't quote me on that. Um, but I am working on day four. I forgot to mention that in my hurry to apologize for random things. Um, so yeah, I'm just... I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. So I did this video last night, hence the terrible lighting. But I was not braining when it came to using my paper trimmer. I've got two paper trimmers. I've got the small Fiskars one right here that is like a guillotine, which I love, but the problem is it only goes up to five inches, and then I've got the bigger one, which is sitting to the side there that I used first. Um, it's just the blade is not always the best, so it leaves some kind of chunky stuff. Alright, so this is me playing Paper Trimmer Switcheroo again. Or no, I was done playing Paper Trimmer Switcheroo. Cool. So the story for day four is just decorating the house. So I've got two pictures right there at the bottom. Um, I'm sorry, they're really terrible to see. I took them out of the page protector so that way you guys could actually see what was going on a little bit better. But I really need to figure out this lighting situation. So this is a box of numbers that you're seeing me play with that I got from the Felicity Jane Joy Kit. Now I'm just looking for the number four, which surprisingly was a lot easier to find than it usually is. And I decided that I was going to heat emboss the number four with that red uh, embossing powder. Um, I'm not sure where it's from. I will look and write it below. So that little thing right there, that is an embossing bag to kind of help with the static electricity and try to get the embossing powder to stick a little bit better. Just using my Versamark ink. I don't know why I was using my fingers when I had this lovely pair of tweezers. I always keep a spoon in that little tray right there so that way I can scoop up the powder and also knock off the excess. And then I'm going to use my heat gun tool. I'm going to let it heat up for a second. So, something I realized uh, it's smart to use a pair of tweezers so that way you don't burn your hands because. I think it's really, really hot, and those letters are not that big. You're going to see me do two coats on this, just to make sure, because there were some spots towards the bottom that didn't appear to be as uh, cooked over or whatever. Um, I don't know what the word is. Um, so I did it again. And then I realized that I got both Versamark ink and embossing powder on the edge of my tweezers. So I've just got a spare paintbrush right there that I'm just dusting it off with real quick. I always keep one of those handy for when I'm making my cards. Just so that way I can knock off some extra heat embossing powder. And I'm just going to cover that in case I knock it over or whatever weird possible thing that could happen. Because that's just my luck. I'm also sorry for how messy my desk is. I just realized how messy it was. Good lord almighty, Jen. So I'm just going to let that sit there and cool off for a second while I clean up. Which is funny because I'm just apologizing for how messy my desk is, but I'm trying to clean up as I go. Still got red embossed powder on my desk. That stuff gets everywhere no matter what you do. I'm just going to stick that four in the middle of that ornament card. And I will link where I got these printable, these printable, or digital cards from. Just marking off the decorating box, and then I'm just going to journal real quick about uh, some of our decorations we put out. So, growing up, my mom always had a Christmas village. And since I have yet to acquire that village, I've kind of started collecting some on my own, which is that picture on the left. One of those items, which is the smaller house on the right of that left picture is actually a little house I picked up while I was in Germany. 
Um, and then I'm not quite sure where the tower on the left came from, but I've had it for a year or two at the very least. So it's just a little start to, to a little Christmas village. It's just something from my childhood that makes me smile. And on the, the picture on the right is actually a lantern from our wedding last or this past October that was originally rose gold, which anybody who knows me knows that is not my color. Anything revolving pink or gold, for that matter, are not my color. So I spray painted it black. I put some ornaments in there just to make a little decoration, and that sits uh, next to our sliding glass door just for fun. I've also got two more pictures over on the side, which are going to be a little insert for this day, and you'll see those in a minute. I had a lot of ready. Jeez. This is why I usually just type my journaling. But this is like the longest part of the entire video, because days five and six were both very short, because most of them were digital. I'm trying to find a good balance between digital and physical products. Not sure. Oh, so I was looking through my stamps. I've got my box right there of Christmas stamps. That box came from Ikea. Those are all my Christmas related stamps. And I was looking to see what stamp I had to see if I had a deck the halls that I could put, excuse me, around that number four, just for fun. I could not find what I was looking for though. Um, but that's okay, cause I improvise. But I have a lot of stamps guys. That's just my Christmas stamps. I'm just gonna use my tape runner, my Tombow adhesive tape runner to adhere that to the card. First I'm gonna use my little um, silhouette pick thing and clean out the tape that was in the middle of the four, four excuse me, just so that way it's not all glossy and stuff gets stuck to it. Cause I've had that happen, it's not fun. So that's when I thought I was done with um, day four, and then I was like, hey, let's use some uh, tiny word phrase stickers. So I've got this green set that are December daily. I think they were from this year, but I could be wrong. And now I'm just trying to find random stickers. And then I remember, oh yeah, there's a whole nother insert that I wanted to add, because that's what I do. And instead of punching holes in the picture, I'm just adhering a piece of really thin cardstock in between the two photos, and that's where I'm going to punch the holes. If I can line the pictures up right. I'm slowly getting better at this. God, I'm really sorry about the sledding, guys. It's really making me angry. Uh, but it's okay. It'll be fixed tomorrow. I ordered a set of lights off of Amazon based on the recommendation of Andrea from um, Retro Hit Mama. So they should be here tomorrow and I'm pretty excited. I got this hole punch at Michael's. It's like a creating memories or something like that. You can find it over in the planner section. Um, and it's a six hole punch, which is perfect for Allie's albums. So that picture that's right there on the screen is of our uh, dining room table decorations. And on the back side of it is a, um, it's our mantle with our garland on it that matches our tree, which will be a later story and our uh, Christmas stockings. And it is, if you know me and my husband, um, it'll be very easy to tell whose stocking is whose. So I went back to the word stickers. Um, right here I'm just putting love stockings. Um, what else did I put on these? I put one on, an, at least one on every picture, but I can't remember what all they are. And I do not have my album in front of me, which was just silly. These are just some various word phrase stickers that I've collected from Ali Edwards. Um, there's one from Felicity Jane. There's even one from like Studio Calico back when I used to get their kits years ago. I don't know what I was thinking about or why I, my hands were doing that. I, I was looking, okay, so here I'm looking for a label, a tab label that I can put on the, um, the extra photos as kind of a way to pull them. That was just one of my embellishment boxes. This is the December specific embellishment box that I've got. It's another thing from Ikea. 
I tried this um, bow paper clip that I've got, and I didn't like it, obviously. So then I started looking for the, the set of um, tab stickers, and these are from December Daily last year or the year before. I'm not sure, but I grabbed the one that says "Be Merry." How come I can remember that, but I can't remember what the little first stickers say? Good job. And that way it's just got something to pull on when I want to turn the photo. So I've noticed that people have been having issues with um, with the size of their page protectors. They, they're not quite 3 by 4 They're really snug this year, but it's really not too big of a problem, I don't think. But I've, I have noticed that it's been a problem for other people. I just naturally trim my photos down a little bit, so... This is day five, which is all about Starbucks. This is a digital template that I got. It's a six by eight digital template um, from Allie Edwards Shop, and I'll link it below. Um, so the top two small square photos are photos that I've taken this year of the red cup, or the first one's of the red cup. The second one is of the cup that they had before the red cup. And then this bottom photo was actually a photo I found online. This is my number organization box. Um, one through nine plus zero have their own boxes and then these connected numbers. Um, I've got some wood ones from a couple years ago, I think 2014. And then I've got these cork ones from this year. So they all just sit in there. So that way I don't have all these random packaging and they're easy to find. I was looking for a number five, but I didn't have one that I liked. So then I went digging in my alpha stash. Um, this number five is going to be too big, so luckily I've got a bunch of white alphas. I just figured uh, the color scheme of this particular page is red and white, obviously, so I figured a nice white alpha would work, and apparently my camera cut out while I was digging for alphas. But I found this smaller set, and I mistakenly put down the number four. Um... And eventually I realized that I put the wrong number. I'm looking at these word stickers from Felicity Jane and decided I didn't want it. But looking at this where it says December 6th, I think might be where I realized that um, 4 is not the right number. I don't know. It comes up eventually. I can't figure out my numbers that I do remember. So now I'm just trimming out this 6x8 um, thing that I made in Photoshop. There's no template for it. It's just something I made. Um, all about wrapping paper. So this right here is actually printed on cardstock. I don't know why I didn't print it on photo paper, but in the final pictures you will see it's actually on photo paper because it's better quality. So all of the elements that are on there are all digital. Um, the December is from a stamp from like 2015, no 2016 I think. It, I think it's from the um, Storytelling with December Daily. The six is a was a cork number, digital cork number from this year. And then I forget what the little circle says down at the bottom, but it was another digital product. I'm just using some um, Studio Calico enamel stars that I've had in my stash forever, just to kind of uh, add something to the page. And then I'm gonna call that page done. So I get ready to go put this in my album. You'll see that's day two. Put that in. And this is where the confusion starts. Because I forget that day three is actually on the front of that page protector. And I already did it. Um, luckily that, uh, that adhesive came up really easily. So that was good. Um, now I'm just looking for a specific set of red shiny alphas that I have right there. Got them in Michaels. Um, American Crafts by the looks of it, but I don't know the name. And eventually I'm like, oh wait, it is actually the fourth. Good job. Just gonna adhere that four again real quick. It was still sticky, it worked. So remember that was day three, here's day four. Which means Starbucks has the wrong number. Peeled that up real quick. Um, 
It came up relatively easily, but it did leave a slight little sticky film behind, but for the most part you can't see it when you're actually looking at the pages, so I wasn't too worried about it. I did really quickly contemplate adding a label or something in that corner for the number to sit on, but I decided not to. And this is going to be the end of the video here in a minute once I finally get my stuff together. And then there's going to be some still shots for you at the end to see actually what the photos look like. Alright, so th this lighting is so much better. I figured it out finally. Yay camera flash. Um, Alright guys, so thank you very much for stopping by checking out my video. Please like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already to keep updated on my videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Alright, bye bye.